Judge rejects Trump bid for U.S. House January 6 committee records. Reuters A judge on Monday rejected Donald Trump's request to see records from the Congressional Investigatio. N of the Jan. 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol, which the former president said may be relevant to his defense against election interference. E charges. U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin in Washington found that Trump has not sufficiently justified his wreck. STS for information tied to the Democratic-led House of Representatives probe, which concluded in 2022. Trump sought to subpoena materials. Below are your comments. Trump is just doing what he always has done in the past when dealing with smaller civil cases, where Changing the subject and using delay tactics he knows costs the other party time and money such da. T they will become exhausted and go away empty-handed. Now he is dealing with criminal charges, 91. Just another delay tactic. If he gets them he will say he needs six months to review them. Trump's attorneys had not shown how video footage of those same conversations could be relevant to H. Is defense. This move by Trump is meant to create more controversy and speculation about, well, everything. If this is his only defense, then he is definitely in some big trouble. He's trying to make it look like he knows as much as the lawyers do, but this is just another way T.R. Ump creates and promotes can spy. Trump was not the president of the United States. Instead, he was a guy who was allowed to live in the White House and issue orders, some of which W.R. E. followed, some of which were ignored completely. This is not just an overreaching statement. It has become clear, beyond any doubt, that Trump did. Next news. Hunter Biden tells Congress he'd testify publicly, setting up a potential high-stakes face-off. Asso. Seated Press. Hunter Biden offered Tuesday to testify publicly before Congress, striking a defiant note in response e to a subpoena from Republicans and setting up a potential high-stakes face-off even as a separate special counsel probe unfolds and his father, President Joe Biden, campaigns for re-election. Hunter Biden's lawyer called the inquiry a fishing expedition, a response in line with the more for Cephal legal approach he's taken in recent months as congressional Republicans pursue an impeachment inquiry. Below are your comments. So, the GOP now has to decide whether they'll take Hunter Biden up on his offer to testify in public. Dot. This will be interesting to see if the GOP has sufficient backbone to question him publicly. GOP strategy is not to prove anything with evidence, but simply to accuse and speculate and appear t. O be pursuing criminal charges. This has been the tactic since Trump took office in 2016. Biden offering to answer questions puts them in an awful position because they don't want him to to have an I just read in another article that Hunter's testimony will occur on December 13 behind closed doors. That is the problem with our government. Nobody trusts Democrats or Republicans anymore.
There is no reason the nation should not be able to watch this hearing and Hunter's testimony. If anything is interesting. While Comer and the Republicans want to do everything behind closed doors and in secret, Hunter Bide N wants to testify under oath in front of the whole country. It's almost like Hunter has nothing to hide, but Comer and the GOP do. Next news. Gavin Newsom wants Fox News viewers to hear him out. The New York Times. Gavin Newsom has a scant history of tough debates over his two decades as governor and lieutenant go. Verner of California and mayor of San Francisco. But he is nevertheless unusually prepared for his nationally televised face-off Thursday with Florida. Gov. Ron DeSantis. Over the past few months, Newsom has lived through something of a debate boot camp on how to respond to attacks on California, President Joe Biden, the Democratic Party and his own mistakes over the why. Ears. It came in the form of T.W. Below are your comments. Should be an interesting debate, if it is a debate and not just a lot of talking over each other. Both are governors of states that many people want to visit and or move to. Both states have a fair share of natural disasters on a regular basis. And both states are much too expensive for my pocket. If he is not running for president then why would he be debating a presidential candidate? Is he going to try and convince the three people who would actually watch that the rest of the country s. hold be like California? I live in Southern California, definitely not a Newsom fan. Once a thriving economy, now failing. Yes, I'll hear Governor Newsom out, but probably believe nothing he says. He needs to be voted out of office here in California. Let me guess. He's going to look straight into the camera and again, blame the gas companies for CA. LaFornia's high gas prices? I want Fox to ask him where the $17.5 billion California has spent on homelessness has gone and why. That level of spend hasn't housed every homeless person in CA. Next news. In new challenge to indictment, Trump's lawyers argue he had good basis to question election results. Associated Press. Donald Trump had a good faith basis to question the results of the 2020 election, his lawyers said. In demanding that prosecutors turn over any evidence related to voting irregularities and potential foreign interference in the contest won by Democrat Joe Biden. A defense motion filed late Monday in federal court in Washington asserts that Trump was not obligat. Ed to accept at face value the judgments of government officials who time and again found no wide SPR. EAD fraud in the election. It floa. Below are your comments. Questions are one thing, and there are established remedies to find the answers. Sending a mob down to the Capitol. Attempting to stop the process, trying to seize voting machines, a ND giving privileged voter information to partisan, unofficial outside groups, trying to end voting or vote counting. Donald Trump may have had good reason to question the 2020 election. He did not have good reason to ignore over 60 judges, family, and employees telling him there was no. Fraud. 
He also did not have good reason for getting fake electors, inciting insurrection, and boycotting in. Auguration. Nobody K. Before the 2016 election Trump said the only way he would lose is if there was fraud. His position is that he never loses unless his opponent cheats. Trump declared himself the winner in 2020 before all the votes were counted. He knew Biden would get more of the mail-in votes, which were counted loss. Nothing Donnie has done, was ever intended to be good for the country. Next News Trump Legal News Brief Trump accuses Pence of trying to curry favor with Jack Smith. Yahoo News In a new court filing, lawyers for former President Donald Trump make their case that former Vice P.R. Esident Pence spoke to special counsel Jack Smith's team in an effort to curry favor and avoid Bay. Ng charged in a Justice Department investigation into Pence's handling of classified documents. Below are your comments. Anyone that would put the same kind of intimidation and threats out on Trump would have secret survey. CE investigations started and some arrested. Why we have this multi-tier judicial and law enforcement system is simply beyond belief. It defies the very concept of justice for all. Much like January 6th, we know that Trump's supporters are doing exactly what he intended for them t. Oh do, he isn't telling them to stop. He has been made aware that his disparaging remarks are being turned into threats by his fanatic foal. Lowers, including threats to a clerk that no one would know. Trump needs to be held to the same rules that the rest of us would be held to. He's threatened people involved with the trial and been gagged for doing so because it endangers the subjects of those threats. How is it okay that he's not put in jail? They are right. Threats against a sitting judge and clerk do not warrant a gag order. They warrant jail time. This circus sideshow is getting totally ridiculous. Treat Mr. Trump like any other defendant. If he breaks the rules of engagement, punish him like any other citizen. The phone calls in. Next news. Even most Biden voters don't see a thriving economy. The New York Times. Presidents seeking a second term have often found the public's perception of the economy a pivotal eye. SSUE. It was a boon to Ronald Reagan. It helped usher Jimmy Carter and George H.W. Bush out of the White House. Now, as President Joe Biden looks toward a re-election campaign, there are warning signals on that FR. Aunt. With overall consumer sentiment at a low ebb despite solid economic data, even Democrats who support Ed Biden in 2020 say they're not impressed with the economy. In a recent New York T. Below are your comments. The economy, as defined by the stock market, GDP, steadily falling inflation numbers, and unemployment. NT is doing great. Those figures do not translate into what the AVG citizen feels what they pay out for weekly necessit. IEs as wages, prices etc. Always lag behind these statistical economic indicator. 
How do they get the economy is thriving when credit card debt is increasing? Based on comments I frequently see on Yahoo articles, I would say many Biden voters do see a thriving G economy because the media tries to put out a narrative saying Biden is doing a good job and they be leave the media over their own grocery bill. Voters voting on short-term gains rather than long-term solid policies. The reason you voted for Biden is at least one of the reasons the economy is so bad. When you give people stuff, they lose the need to work. When people aren't working or expect too much for the work they do, the economy worsen. If you see a thriving economy, those are some serious rose-colored glasses. Next news. Former Google executive ends long-shot bid for Dianne Feinstein's U.S. Senate seat in California. ASIC. IATED Press. A former California tech executive is ending her long-shot campaign for the U.S. Senate seat once held by the late Democratic Sen. Diane Feinstein, she announced Tuesday. Democrat Lexi Reese said in a statement that she has been unable to raise the many millions of dollars R.S. needed for a first-time candidate to introduce herself to voters across the nation's most popular S. state. Career politicians have institutional, press, and party support that is very difficult to replicate. As an outsider, below are your comments. Why start at the top? Why didn't she run for school board or city council or county supervisor first to get some elective experience? Porter was until recently a college professor who doesn't accept corporate or PAC donations, so that blows her argument of career politicians. Maybe she should get some actual government experience before running for senator representing Almos. T 40 million people. Quitting is the only time she got any media attention. You really do have to run for a lower office to be taken seriously. If she earned a maverick label as a Democrat, she could be just enough different that independents a uh, ND Republicans would support her in on of the two Democrat finals. The fact that no one knew who she was or that she was running makes this a smart decision. When someone has 32 million or more to spend to get elected to a job that pays less than 200 grand a Year it just shows you how corrupt our political system has become. Dot. Next news. Banker involved in big loans to Trump's company testifies for his defense in civil fraud trial. Asso. Seated Press. When Deutsche Bank loaned Donald Trump's company hundreds of millions lawyers of dollars, the banker. Elways followed its own guidelines that include checking out information that would be borrowers' prov. I'd, an executive testified Tuesday at the former president's civil fraud trial. The loans, for projects in Florida, Chicago and Washington, D.C. are a focus of New York Attorney General Letitia James's lawsuit contending that Trump and his compan why deceived lenders and insurers by giving them fin? Below are your comments. The German bank loaned a cumulative total of around $2.5 billion to Trump projects over the past two decades, and the bank continued writing him nine-figure checks even after he defaulted on $1.640 miles.
Lee an obligation and sued the bank, blaming it for his failure to pay back the this default W. Wondering if the prosecution might delve into other Deutsche Bank standard practices such as In October 2020, Deutsche Bank reached out to the president's son, Don Jr., with questions about net worth statements that the Trump Organization had provided, according to legal filings. The bank follow. Deutsche Bank, one of the world's most notorious banking institutions, has been involved in corrupt practices including violations of bribery laws, in countries around the world, including Saudi Arabia, A, China, Italy, and the U.S. These people lie for seven-figure paychecks. Not bad work if you can g. Next news. Home Depot billionaire to fund Trump even if former president is convicted. Reuters. Reuters. Republican mega-donor Bernie Marcus said on Tuesday he would likely still give money to Donald Trump. P's 2024 presidential bid if the former president was convicted of a crime, but the billionaire Doe s not plan to be one of his biggest financial backers. Marcus, a co-founder of home improvement retailer The Home Depot, announced earlier this month that he was supporting Trump, the runaway frontrunner for the 2024 Republican nomination contest that KIC KS off on Jan. 15 in Iowa. Below are your comments. Marcus said Trump is fixer. He will fix the tax code to help Marcus and others. Marcus is exercising his given right to buy favorable government. Shows how much they care about the country they do business in. Bud Light went through an awful lot of opposition by acting in a manner that their customers did not agree with. Home Depot may catch the same kind of heat. Just saying. This is exactly the reason the rich do not deserve tax cuts or lower tax rates. They turn around and try to destroy the system, country for their gain. I will never shop at Home Depot again. We need real election finance reforms now more than ever. Home Depot billionaire says he'd likely still fund Trump if candidate convicted. They're the same species, low character, low moral and ethical value because when it comes to make M. Only it doesn't matter which way it goes, they'll team up against country. Next news. U.S. funding for Ukraine arms has poured into Pennsylvania, Arizona and Texas. Reuters. The Biden administration has been circulating on Capitol Hill the first breakdown of which U.S. States have benefited from the billions of dollars spent on arming Ukraine, in a move to gather more support from Republicans who have voted against aid for Kyiv. While three of the eight Republican members of Congress from Pennsylvania have been voting against F. Wounding to help stop Russia's invasion, the data shows the Keystone State has received $2.364 billion the most of any state, in spending a below are your comments. This is why we don't want the war to end. It is too profitable for American business. The Mike successfully invested in the right politicians to line their pockets for another forever war. Dot dot. 
How many actual jobs per state versus the dollar billions that went up the corporate ladder? The many jobs that are being created by producing weapons for Ukraine and then those people spending their wages helps the state gain in tax revenue. Do these representatives want that money the state is gaining in the sales to go away? So borrowing money, likely from China, to put this country and taxpayers in debt so we can send free money and supplies is justified because it creates jobs? $27 billion worth of investments. Not really seeing this as an investment, however, pretty sure a LL taxpayers will get a nice Xmas bonus back from Raytheon. Just don't hold your breath Clark. Dot 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 dot. Next news. GOP impeachment effort against Philadelphia prosecutor lands before Democratic majority court. ASIC. IATED Press. Pennsylvania's highest court on Tuesday weighed whether the legislature can proceed with an impeachum and trial against Philadelphia's elected progressive prosecutor and whether the court or lawmakers s. hold determine what qualifies as misbehavior in office. What the justices decide after oral arguments in the Supreme Court chambers in Harrisburg will deter. Mind the future of efforts to remove District Attorney Larry Krasner, a Democrat, on claims he shoal. D have prosecuted some minor crimes, his B. Below are your comments. Prosecutional discretion. The prosecutor's office can decide what to or not to bring to trial. The very idea is. Dot was going to say ludicrous. But this action is just an overlay for the underlay of protecting themselves and DJT from criminal P. Rosecution. The Republicans are trying to overturn another election. When you have nothing to offer but lies and revenge you make rules to punish your enemies. Those will change if it's a Republican doing something wrong so it will be all right. GOP can't govern. And we all know it. At least with respect to the U.S. Constitution, misconduct is whatever the legislature says it is and they can unilaterally remove a politician from office after going through the process. Impeachment at the federal level is not reviewable by the courts. It is a purely, 100%, political exercise. Next news. Democratic lawmaker moves to force a vote this week on expelling Rep. George Santos from the House. Associated Press. A Democratic lawmaker moved Tuesday to force a vote this week on expelling Rep. George Santos from the House, calling it a necessary step if Republicans fail to take action in lie. T of the recent ethics report that found Santos blatantly stole from his campaign and deceived donor. S. Robert Garcia, D. Califf, brought back to the floor legislation he first introduced in February to foe. RCE the expulsion vote. Republicans were successful in turning aside Garcia's earlier effort, but now that the Below are your comments. Having been Ulysses S. Grant's most trusted advisor and having played Jan Brady in the Brady Bunch, let me just say that I am not going down without a fight. What? Expel.
with confirmation of the evidence from the Ethics Committee. There should be no one, regardless of their party, that doesn't vote this criminal out. But then again many Republicans voted nay to everything Trump did too. Geez, it has taken this long to finally get someone to expel this guy? The guy should be in jail, not Congress. Just because he got his playbook of continuously lying from Trump, doesn't mean that the Republican party should be ridding themselves of all ethics and morals just to protect guys like. It should not take three votes he was indicted he lied it's proven one vote should have been enough. Next news. Sex in-house enforcement powers at risk in U.S. Supreme Court case. Reuters. A challenge to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's powers to protect investors from fraud comes before the Supreme Court on Wednesday in another in a series of legal attacks against federal agencies that regulate F. Financial markets. The justices are due to hear arguments in an appeal by President Joe Biden's administration of a low Er court's ruling restricting the sex power to enforce securities laws through the agency's launched ending in-house tribunal system. The case involves hedge. Below are your comments. It looks like the Republican members of the Supreme Court want to ensure their wealthy benefactors a re able to continue cheating working class investors, so flow of goodies to the justices will contain. UE. When I talk to conservative friends, they always think that there should be less regulations, but th. And they never have a good answer for ensuring that our economy doesn't come crashing down because of the bad actors that their policies favor. Saying the market will correct itself is exactly how. Next they'll go after the IRS's ability to find people after an audit finds accounting mistakes with out the option of a jury trial. Going after those agencies that make businesses accountable will only help unethical businesses harm. Honest consumers. Guessing we'll get another anti consumer ruling from this court. MAGA. Dot. Next news Jimmy Carter, 99, expected to attend service for late wife Rosalind. Reuters. Atlanta. Reuters. Former President Jimmy Carter, who is 99 and in hospice care, is expected to attend a tribute survey. CE at a church in Atlanta on Tuesday for his late wife Rosalind Carter, who died at age 96 on November 19, his office said on Monday. U.S. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, former President Bill Clinton and former First Ladies Hillary Clinton, Laura Bush and Michelle Obama also are expected to attend Tuesday's service. Dot dot. Below are your comments. Rip misses. You were a beautiful soul who touched so many lives. At the gate, I've no doubt you will hear the words, Well done, my good and faithful servant, well d. 1. Such a wholesome hometown sweetheart and a grand soul. Can't believe the nasty comments I am reading here. People must feel threatened by honesty and a good life well lived. 
I guess some folks don't feel comfortable when they see a shining example of how it should be done. Rip misses. You just know when the world has lost it totally. They just look the other way and keep walking when a very honorable life shines enough to blur their own vision of reality. Sad days we are living. Nevertheless, this lady is reaping a real harvest for all her humility and wisdom in everything she... Dot 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 dot. May her beautiful soul rip and thoughts and prayers for her soul and family. Next news. Trump wants to use January 6th rioter cases to fight the special counsel's case against him. NBC News. Former President Donald Trump's legal team requested information on Jan. 6 in the 2020 election as he fights special counsel Jack Smith's case against him. Below are your comments. Trump's incitement of the insurrection doesn't absolve those other people from their responsibility. We saw, and continue to see, that in their convictions. But it also is not exculpatory for Trump. He did what he did. His beliefs are irrelevant, too. Even if he believed that the election was rigged. Just here to remind everyone that this guy is claiming he never swore an oath to support the U.S. cons. Titution when he took the oath of office, and he is currently the front runner for the Republican PAW. RTY for the 2024 presidential election facing 91 counts from multiple. Next time I get pulled over for speeding I will argue in court that, despite the speed limit signs I indicating otherwise, I truly believe the speed limit was higher. If it works for Trump then it should work for me. Trump's chief of staff and one of his lawyers both testified that he had repeatedly been told there was no evidence of fraud ever presented. Many of the Republican Trump WH officials, like Bill Barr, had testified the very same thing last F.A. L.L. Next news. Charles Koch's anti-Trump group endorses Nikki Haley in Republican primary. Good morning America. Americans for Prosperity Action, an advocacy organization backed by billionaire Charles Koch and his network of wealthy conservatives, on Tuesday morning endorsed Nikki Haley as the Republican alterna. Tithe to Donald Trump ahead of the Iowa caucus that begins the 2024 primary in less than 50 days. A memo circulated by the The Americans for Prosperity CEO, Emily Seidel, described Haley, a former U.N. Ambassador and former governor of South Carolina, as offering America the opportunity to turn the Below are your comments. I am with them, anyone but Trump. I would prefer to get rid of him in the primary, but if necessary I will vote against him in the gen. Errol as well. There are a lot of independents that would vote for Haley over Biden. Polling clearly shows, if the Republicans want to actually win the presidency she's th. Trump's legal troubles aren't deniable as Trump himself might think because the evidence is clearly overwhelming against him. Even if he and his supporters fail to comprehend that fact the truth will prevail to show to every eye. Intelligent person he is guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt.
The ultra-wealthy only endorse those who they can control regardless of political party. That should worry every taxpayer. Dot. Next news. Evangelical leader names time and place voters will rise up against Trump. HuffPost. Bob Vander Plotz said the former president is revealing his true character, and Republican voters have finally noticed. Below are your comments. You would be hard-pressed to find a more unchristian candidate than Trump. It's time for evangelicals to wake up and publicly denounce him and find a candidate with character to support. Trump's rhetoric is a permissible on-slip for his supporters to dehumanize others just as he does. He portrays others as existential threats, determined to destroy everything MAGA world loves about a America. Trump is doing two things at once, pushing the narrative that his enemies must be defeated W. The cult acts like they don't see what Trump does to Republicans, once he feels they are no longer you. Cephal. When he becomes king, he will have no use for the poor peasants. They will see how fast he turns his back on them. The same people who defended his every move will be in for a shock. Trump has no class or dignity. Wealth does not equate to character. In fact, what real man do you know who acts out the ways he does? Not one. While I laud this man's words on Trump, I also feel he is part of the problem. I'm not sure we would ever hear Jesus call Trump a chump, even if he is. Next news. U.S. media bashes Biden but Trump gets names wrong all the time, host claims The Guardian. Daily Beast's Andy Levy says media needs to focus on Trump's cognitive s bleep with every bit of con. Centration it does on Biden's. Below are your comments. Earlier this month, DeSantis's rapid response operation. Here is a running list of every one of Donald Trump's fumbles, accidents, and confused moments from this year. Note, this is why his handlers won't let him debate. Exactly. All I know is that if people don't see this election as more important than the last we are all going. G to have a dictatorship if Trump wins. This time he'll have more experience in planning to stay for the rest of his life and then passing H. Is rule to his sons. Hopefully, people won't fall for voting. Yeah, that's why everyone ignores them when they bash Biden. Oh, while we're here, we are also ignoring them when they talk about Biden's age and not Trump's. FYI. We're pretty much done with the whole double standard thing. The concerned about Biden's age and health crowd conveniently ignores Trump is only three years younger, oh. Verweight, doesn't read, refers to CEOs by their company's name. Kofifi, misplaces classified docs, and confuses 9-11 with 7-11, misspells his own wife's name as, Melanie. Next news. Hunter Biden willing to testify in public hearing, lawyer says. CBS News. Hunter Biden's lawyer told the House Oversight Committee that his client is willing to testify at a public hearing. Below are your comments. 
Nothing is ever held for very long in secret. The leakers are everywhere, so why not just hold all of the hearings in public? The government has been far too secretive for far too long, which is why we are in the shape we are in. Spending money we don't have on pet projects needs to stop. Comer quickly rejected Hunter Biden's offer on Tuesday, saying he must appear for a closed-door depot. Session on deck. 13 while leaving open the possibility of public testimony in the future. Why? It should all be out in the open. Remember when Comer and Jordan fought against the release of their star witnesses' testimony? When the transcript ended up being released, it showed both Comer and Jordan had blatantly lied a boo. T. What Archer said. This is a good move on Hunter's part. We have seen you use closed door sessions to manipulate, even distort the facts and misinform the poo. Blick, he wrote. We therefore propose opening the door. If, as you claim, your efforts are important and involve issues that Americans should know about, th. And let the light shine on these proceeding. Next news. Mitt Romney names the two Republican presidential candidates he won't vote for. HuffPost. The former GOP presidential nominee says there are two members of his own party he can't support. Below are your comments. Everyone has been saying Congress is not doing its job, but nothing changes. Until voters start running out of hot air and sending responsible adults with some intelligence to see. Congress, it will be business as usual. In other countries, there would have been a coup by now. I would vote yes to have these senators take a big cut in pay and see how it is to have a small pay. Check every week and pay for the expensive things in these days. This is really not a popularity contest although many Americans, including Romney, I guess, tend to view it that way. I like DeSantis more than I like Christie or I don't like Biden, etc. Etc. To my way of thinking, these candidates will be representing platforms and programs in the course of F. August 2007, Republican presidential hopeful Mitt Romney on Wednesday defended his five sons to CC on not to enlist in the military, saying they're showing their support for the country by helping me get elected. Romney, who did not serve in Vietnam due to his Mormon missionary work and a high doctor. Next news. Nikki Haley wins backing from powerful Koch network as she aims to take on Trump. Associated Press. Americans for Prosperity, the political arm of the powerful Koch network, formally endorsed Nikki Ha. Lay's presidential campaign on Tuesday, promising to commit its nationwide coalition of activists and virtually unlimited funds to helping Haley defeat former President Donald Trump in the GOP primary contest. AFP Action is proud to throw our full support behind Nikki Haley, who offers America the opportunity. Why to turn the page on the current political era, to win the Republican primary and a uh. Below are your comments. This may be one of the only times ever that I am backing the Koch's move. I won't vote for Trump or DeSantis, but I would consider Haley. She's moderate and we need a moderate in the White House. 
Whoa. Donnie must have done some that cost those coke boys money. Dot. She might be the only rational choice, if not the only rational person out of the Republican Canada. Taze. Miles better than Trump. This is an example of disinformation. Any intelligent person knows she cannot get more than 10 purse. NT of all American voters. But since her PR firm splashes out money media can put up positive reports. Next news. Putin won't make peace in Ukraine before 2024 U.S. election U.S. official. Reuters. Russian President Vladimir Putin will not make peace in Ukraine before he knows the results of the N. November 2024 U.S. election, a senior U.S. State Department official said on Tuesday, amid concerns that a potential victory for former preside. N.T. Donald Trump could upend Western support for Kyiv. Trump, who is seeking re-election in 2024 and is the leading candidate for the Republican presidential L. nomination, has been sharply critical of U.S. Support for Kyiv. A senior official briefing reporters. Below are your comments. What Putin fears most is the independence of Russia's neighbors. Not because they pose a military threat to the country's security, but because they pose a political threat to his rule. Putin worries that if any of these states becomes a successful and prosperous democracy, let alone F. Yuli integrate. Putin is really hoping his mentally deranged buddy Trump will win again. Alas. Dot his hopes will be. Dashed. Sorry Putin your buddy Trump ain't winning Jack in 2024. Putin is hoping his puppet traitor Trump will be elected, and gift Ukraine to the Russians. Just like traitor Trump gifted Afghan to the Taliban. Next news. Hunter Biden offers to testify publicly in House Republicans impeachment probe. Reuters. Washington. Reuters, U.S. President Joe Biden's son Hunter Biden on Tuesday offered to testify publicly in the House Republica. An impeachment inquiry of his father's Democratic administration, while a leading lawmaker stuck to H. is demand of testimony behind closed doors. Escalating a months-long investigation across three congressional committees, the Republican control. Led House of Representatives launched an impeachment inquiry into Biden in September, which focuses on Hunter Biden's business D. Below are your comments. They will never agree to that. They won't be able to control the narrative. They cannot have Hunter testify publicly. They need it to be in private so the embarrassment factor will remain low. It's ironic that Hunter agreed to testify when most of them refused to honor their subpoenas. I can see it now. Hunter sitting there trying to answer while Comer keeps on talking over him and pounding the table oh. And how come he won't give him an answer? If the repubs believe he's 100% guilty they shouldn't be against letting it be open for public viewy. Ing, unless there was something to hide. Next news. LGBTQ plus rights group sues over Iowa law banning school library books, gender identity discussion. Ah. 
Press. OCIATED Press. Several families are suing to stop Iowa's new law that bans books from school libraries, forbids T. Shares from raising LGBTQ plus issues and forces educators in some cases to out the gender identity of Saint. Udens to their parents. The American Civil Liberties Union of Iowa and Lambda announced the federal lawsuit Tuesday, saying. The law passed earlier this year by the Republican-led legislature and enacted this fall, seeks to s. I lens LGBTQ plus students, erase any recognition of LGBTQ plus people from public. Below are your comments. This is not a free speech issue. The teachers of America do not have the right to take any subject they want and rub it into the face. S of impressionable children. Curricula concerning sexuality that go way beyond the birds and the bees and into radical positions. Is and should be determined by Indy. Boys are boys and girls are girls. That is the complete necessary gender identity discussion, no book required. Framing this as a parents' rights issue ignores the rights of parents of LGBTQ children. Next news. Influential Koch Group endorses Haley's 2024 Republican presidential bid. Reuters. Washington. Reuters, the conservative U.S. Political network led by billionaire Charles Koch on Tuesday endorsed Nikki Haley for the 2024 Repub. Lacan presidential nomination, giving the former South Carolina governor a boost among party rivals. Struggling to make a dent against frontrunner Donald Trump. The influential group, which pushes for tax cuts and less government regulation, has made clear that beating former President Trump in the Republican nominating contest is a top priority, arguing. Below are your comments. Haley is not electable with her stance on weakening Social Security. Remove the cap on social security tax. Haley is definitely not a grassroots supported candidate, which means that she will be more response. I've to her donors than the electorate at large. Getting an endorsement from Coke is like getting an endorsement from Ebenezer Scrooge. Haley drops out after losing big in South Carolina primary. While far less horrible than Trump. Haley believes all the GOP myths and will only make America weaker. Next news. Factbox Where is the fourth Republican debate and who will be there? Reuters. Republican presidential candidates are scheduled to face off in the fourth debate of their parties too. 024 nominating contest next Wednesday. It will be hosted by subscription based television network News Nation, conservative political Jorna. L. The Washington Free Beacon, The Megyn Kelly Show on Sirius XM, and Rumble, a video hosting service. Popular with conservatives. The forum, which will be broadcast on television news channel News Nation and streamed on Rumble, Rep. Resents something of an experim. Below are your comments. It is dumb for the RNC to put it on subscription-only streaming. That will eliminate a lot of viewers. 
Who cares? Former celebrity apprentice, NBC reality show host will win the most primaries. The more you know. They finally wised up. And quit letting Christie on stage. The only reason he was on stage was they hoped he would. Fight with Trump. Trump didn't waste his time with Mr. 2%. The fourth? When did they do the first three? Did anything important happen? Who cares Smarmy will take it over. Next news. Fox News analyst shreds Matt Gates with most dubious award of all time. Huff Post. Juan Williams explained why the Florida Republican deserves a place in history. Below are your comments. I totally agree. Gates really made it crystal clear with his political moves that the Republicans can't govern, and in 2024, Democrats retake the House. And the Democrats didn't even have to pay him off to do it. The Republican Do Nothing Party has lived up to their purpose and reason for existing. Make sure the rich get richer and the poor pay for everything. Then make sure to not do anything else. They have always been the masters at that. This new class of Republicans have taken it to a never-before-seen. What this entire Republican fiasco is showing the people that cares enough about the future of this country to do something about trying to preserve it is simple. The Trump lovers are trying to do what just about every country in the world has failed to do Melita, Riley and otherwise, and that is to F. Next news. Pence briefly considered not presiding over January 6th vote certification. Huff Post. The revelation again raises questions about Trump's lawyers' notes mentioning GOP Sen. Charles Grassley presiding over the Senate that day. Below are your comments. The fact that Pence even considered abdicating his constitutional responsibility because he was Afra. It of hurting his boss's ego and had to be reminded by none other than his son of his responsibility. To the Constitution means he is a coward and a joke of a man. The fact that it was considered considered is how far Trump has caused the Republican Party to stray. From what America is supposed to stand for. Cowards power hungry un American cowards. If Pence did that, he would have been considered the biggest coward in American history. He didn't want to upset his friend. What a joke the Republican Party has become. So Pence is the coward we all thought he was. It was going to hurt his friend. And Democrats are the snowflakes. Next news. Sherrod Brown focuses on abortion access in Ohio Senate re-election race. CBS News. I support abortion access for all women. Brown said in a recent text to voters, adding that his three EGOP opponents would overturn the will of Ohioans by voting for a national abortion ban. Below are your comments. Women and Gen Z will be deciding who gets what next November. I think Sherrod Brown will be fine. 
good focus. The entire right is wrong about women's rights. They are about a hundred years behind, as shown in numerous elections all over the country. Tattoo the repub to their terrible position on women's choice and go for the jugular. Vote Dems. Ohio is no longer a bellwether state. It's a Republican gerrymandered mess. The terrible effects are the rule of the far-right minority. All three of Brown's GOP Senate opponents were against the Ohio Constitutional Abortion Amendment. Even so, it passed and access to abortion is now assured an Ohio law. Next news. Column. Take this Congress and shove it. Two fed up lawmakers say why they've had enough. LA Times. Earl Blumenauer of Oregon and Ken Buck of Colorado have had enough of Congress and its disorder. The Democrat and Republican see different ways out of the dysfunction. Below are your comments. It is with great sadness that I must announce the dissolution of a recently formed organization name. D. Sebi or Search for Earth-Based Intelligence. Because of people like these two, is why the Republican Congress cannot get anything done. If you are running for Congress, make sure you will stick together as Republicans. All the people that are in Congress, are voted into that office to do a job. Not try and do your own agenda, for your perso. There are some Trump people that got elected to Congress that are just baffling, Buck said. They just don't belong in Congress. I don't know how else to put it. Next news. Hunter Biden willing to testify before House Committee if hearing is public. The Guardian. Lawyers say President's son prepared to be questioned at Joe Biden's impeachment inquiry with Condit. Ions. Below are your comments. There is no legitimate reason for Republicans to object to the hearing being as public as all the SC. Earless accusations they have been throwing around for three years. They'll stick to private depositions so they can use irrelevant quotes from testimonies out of Conte. XT to plug on media-friendly outlets. The impeachment inquiry was a disaster for the GOP. Of course they're not going to do it publicly. It should be televised as the repubs have already tried and found Hunter guilty. Let the public desi. De and then let the court decide. The GOP doesn't want that. They want to do it in private so then they can manipulate the info they release. Pretty simple math right there. Dot. Next news. Hunter Biden agrees to testify publicly before the House Oversight Committee. NBC News. Hunter Biden is open to testifying publicly before the Republican-led House Oversight Committee on D. E. C. 13, his lawyer said in a letter Tuesday. Below are your comments. Smart move by Hunter to require public hearing. Republicans fear transparency which is why they want hearings behind closed doors. 
Jim will probably cancel it at the last moment. Biden is doing it because he knows the Republicans will have to show their hand if he confronts Th. M. And they have nothing. Why are our conservative friends afraid of the light of day? I guess they can't spin it when it's public. I think Hunter should follow the Steve Bannon rules for responding to a subpoena. Ignore it. Fight the charges in court, and appeal appeal appeal. Next news. Santos says he will stand for expulsion vote after talking options with House Speaker Johnson. USAT. O'Day. House Speaker Mike Johnson said he spoke with Rep. George Santos about his options as the New York Republican could face a third expulsion vote. Below are your comments. A falsely elected politician facing the boot from his peers would be humiliating to most. And then, to go on trial for all the things he's charged with, surely was not the plan. Then again, self-reflection is not a trait most politicians own. I've done the math over and over, and it doesn't look really good. Dot. I would have thought that once would have been enough given that he's won a Nobel Prize in Mathematics. C.S. There's no such prize, but there's also no accomplishment too impossible for Santos. Next news. Coke-backed Super PAC endorses Nikki Haley for president. HuffPost. The endorsement in the GOP presidential contest represents a big win for Haley. And another blow to Florida Gov. Ron DeSantis Presidential Aspirations Below are your comments. President Biden older wiser and doing the job, not vindictive, not a whiner, getting hostages, people. Freed too. She would be better than Cheeto, Big Mother Huckabee, or Ronnie. But a long way from being a presidential material. Bought and paid for. No way this country elects a woman, Democrat or Republican, for president. This country is way too sexist, especially the Republican Party. They'll let a woman achieve so much but not the top job. With that being said, I hope she gets the nomination. She's winning the race to second place. Next news. Koch Network endorses Nikki Haley in GOP primary. USA Today. The Koch brothers' endorsement gives Haley a major financial boost just weeks before voters head to tea. He polls to vote in the GOP primary. Below are your comments. I can't think of a worse omen for America than the Koch brothers' endorsement. Nikki will have lots of money though, and all it cost her was her soul. This is the only time in history that I will praise the Koch brothers for what they are doing. Bravo guys! Exclamation mark. Up with hope, down with the dope. She would be a much better choice than what we currently have. The same Coke who gave 25 million to Biden's campaign. Working people do not support Haley. Next news. Hunter Biden offers to testify at House GOP open hearing about foreign deals rather than enclosed D.
or deposition. USA Today. Hunter Biden offered to testify at a House hearing rather than a closed-door deposition. His lawyers said it would prevent a cloaked, one-side process. Below are your comments. The House holding a hearing on one private citizen? Do they not have anything of greater importance to deal with? Dot. Wasting my tax dollar s again. Where is our budget? Why don't Republicans want open hearings? Don't they feel comfortable playing their games out in the open where they can be seen? What is Comer afraid of? Let the hearing be public. Next news. Nikki Haley wins Koch endorsement for Republican presidential nomination. The Guardian. Influential billionaires organization hails, tested leader, as better bet to take on Biden than true. MP or DeSantis. Below are your comments. Another reason not to vote for her. Koch brothers push for Social Security to be raised to mid-70s before you claim. Is a Coke endorsement even relative nowadays? Repubs love all the many billionaires helping our candidates. Dot but despise the one billionaire Soros. Helping the Democrats. Lol. Home Depot billionaire says he'd likely still fund Trump if candidate convicted. Next news. Mike Lee acknowledges January 6th rioter was probably not a federal agent. Huff Post. The Utah Republican had amplified a false claim that a Trump supporter at the U.S. Capitol riot was actually an undercover government agent. Below are your comments. Lee. Okay, I will acknowledge the truth, since you caught me, lying and spinning. There's no probably about it, Senator Lee. He wasn't and isn't now a federal agent and you lied. Crickets. Only one group of people ever bought that and they like alternate facts rolling on the floor laughing. I'll interpret what Lee means. He probably wasn't a federal agent. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.